Welcome back aboard. Hun, hurry up. It's coming back up. Okay. Well, you caught it. Right here at Ship Tape TV. Hey, one last thing I want to leave you with today. If you're thinking about buying a new boat, make sure that you do all the appropriate research. Due diligence is key. You got to remember, guys, that every new boat looks fantastic in the showroom. But where it really counts is how does it perform out on the water. That's why you want to take a thorough demo ride on no matter which style hull you're thinking about buying. Hope that helps. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. Hey, that's good advice. I mean, I have a good idea of what kind of boat I want, but maybe we should shop around a little bit. Well, it makes sense. I mean, we test drive a car before we buy it, and I try on a new pair of shoes. So why didn't we take a demo ride before we bought our last boat? I don't know. I thought all boats were pretty much the same. But let's take John's advice and really do our homework this time. You got it. Besides, you know me. I love to shop. Mm-hmm. There sure is a lot to pick from. Yes, there is. But one thing's for sure, because the kids are a little bit older now, we need more room. Hi, in a market for a boat? Well, we currently own a 19-foot V-hole, and our kids. And the dog. And the dog are getting a little bigger now. Well, we feel like we wanted a bigger boat. We see that you carry several lines of boats, and we currently have a V-hull, but we're possibly interested in a catamaran. And friends of ours up north have one, and they've been telling us some pretty interesting things about it. But we've, we've never been on one. What do you know about them? Oh, the ride's amazing. If you've never been on one, once you take that ride, you're going to find it to be the cleanest, smoothest, driest, most stable boat you've ever been on. Well, why is the ride so smooth? Ah, great question, follow me. Folks, the best way I can describe the catamaran to the monohull is going to be kind of a knife and spoon effect. The monohull being the spoon, wider at the bottom, more friction, and it's going to make more slap. The catamaran hull is going to be a much cleaner entry, you know, sharper entry for a cleaner, softer overall ride. Does that really make a difference in how the boat rides? Yes, and stable too. Really? Really. Really. If you look at a monohull with the V on the bottom, it's going to be a lot more, you know, right and left lean or high degree lean and forward and aft movement through bigger seas. Where the catamaran with two sponsons stays level and flat through all riding conditions for overall safer, better riding boat. That doesn't sound real. Well, let's set up a sea trial. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. We're not going on any demos just yet. We were just starting our shopping for a boat. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sorry to be pushy or seem so. It's just been our experience that once people ride the catamaran, the boat sells itself. Well, we like to take our boat and the kids and the dog to the sandbar. But what kind of a draft does a catamaran haul offer compared to a monohull? Much shallower. The catamaran is going to be about 12 and a half inches. It's lighter, the cleaner sponsons, where the monohull is going to be at least two feet. Well, what about fuel consumption? I mean, with today's gas prices, I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, great question. Again, if you look at the mono hull, wider hull, more drag in the water to our razor blade type entries on our sponsons, more efficient, less drag in the water. Because of the trapped air underneath the tunnel, it compresses, causing more lift, more efficient ride, more cushion, a softer re-entry for a better overall ride. That tied in with E-Tech engines, which are lighter, faster, clean burning, and no maintenance. There is no 10, 50, 100 hour break-in, or two cycles and four strokes all have 10, 50, 100 hour break-in costly services. Folks, now that you're aboard a catamaran, can you sense and feel the extra space over a monohull? Well, how do you figure? Because our sponsors stay out where the monohull V's in, Therefore, we create a lot more space for you, your friends, and your pets. Having all that extra space would be nice. Well, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Hey, honey. Yes? I have an idea. What's that? Tomorrow, let's take the boat out on the water and look for other catamaran owners and personally ask them what their experience is. That's a great idea. Thanks. Honey, there's 
hardly any wind blowing today. Yeah. Let's go out to the mouth of the inlet ourselves and see how rough it is. Yeah. Uh, when you look at that, it looks like marching elephants out there. There's no way we're going near that. That big boat. And look at the wake it's throwing. Look, there's a little catamaran. Wow, they better hang on. Oh man, he's cutting through that wake like a knife. So smooth. Oh no, that wake is coming right towards us. We better hang on. Watch the coast, dear. Yeah. They're heading over to the sandbar. Let's go over and ask them what they think. OK. Well, that's as far as we're getting. We're beached. Oh, well, you look at that. That family on the catamaran had no problem getting to the beach. Yep. <laughs> 